My name is Hallie Craig. I'm an alumna of Urban Strings Columbus and a class of 2020 graduate of Otterbein University. I'm a jazz bassist. Mrs. Willis has been a mentor of mine for most of my life. I'm very happy to be interviewing her today. Why did you want to become a teacher? I think I've always enjoyed working with, uh, with children. Even as a child, I can remember my father telling me that he would uh, see me on the porch uh, mimicking my teachers at school and having the other kids as the students and I would be the teacher. So I guess I've always, that was always a part of what I wanted to do ever since I was a small child. What were your early experiences like as a teacher? And I grew up in the housing project in Cleveland called the Althwaite Homes. And I wanted to work with kids who were like me when I was coming along. How did you come to found Urban Strings Columbus? I was a, a volunteer at the Martin Luther King Library, and I also was volunteering at Champion Middle School. And at the time, uh, Champion Middle School had a fledging strings program for the kids that were in uh, maybe I think the sixth or seventh grade. So I went to um, the teacher and asked her if we could have a couple of the kids that were in the strings program to come to the library and perform in part of the celebration for Black History Month. And so she said yes, and we had two girls that, that were kicking and screaming. They didn't want to do it, but they did it anyway. I thought, well, you know, let's see what happens. And so we started with two, and I think the, the, the largest group of uh, members that we've had in Urban Strings has been up to about 50. What does it mean for you for black and brown people to occupy space in the genre of classical music since it is such a Eurocentric uh, sort of genre? I think about a classical African-American piece is total praise. Mm -hmm. That's a classical piece because it, it, it's a spiritual piece and, and I think wherever we go, that's one of the popular pieces that we play that, mm -hmm. you know, that the hope that the audience just embraces and loves and so it doesn't have to be Eurocentric to be classical and we need to think about what are the classical pieces in our culture that we can lift up and, and, and share with others. Mm -hmm. Somehow redefining. Right. Um, classical music as a that, genre right. and how it evolves over time. Right. Our focus is lifting up the music, the arrangements, and the compositions of African American exactly, uh, yeah. uh, uh, musicians. What are some of your favorite memories of what Urban Strings has accomplished or worked on? One of the most exciting parts of Urban Strings is when uh, young people like you come in. In, in middle school and I look up and you're graduating from high school and then you've gone on to college and this year you were one of the 2020 graduates uh, of college that were a part of a group of kids that got started in Urban Strings and so mm -hmm. that I think that is really the joy that I feel when I look at, at you and Tristan Davis and Shalisa Warner, and then I look at the kids that are in college now that are, you know, that were a part of us. And we have a large representation of young people that came through Urban Strings who are now uh, in college. And, and I think that is truly uh, the joy that, that I find and the joy that I receive. What was your upbringing like and what were some values that you learned from your upbringing that you bring into your work? My parents were uh, young people that migrated from the South during the great migration of yeah. black people coming from the South to the North and they settled in Cleveland. At the time, that whole uh, area that I grew up in was like a village. You know, the parents were looking out for each other and, and looking out for each other's children. Everybody knows and it, everybody. That's right, yeah. and if, you know, as a child, if, if, if something happened and you got into trouble, then the neighbor would tell your mom and you know, it was too bad. And that's kind of the community you've built with Urban Strings, we're a family. Absolutely, you know? you're absolutely right. And, <laughs> we, and, and, right. we keep tabs on on each other, we stay in touch. You right. Know? You just don't come to rehearsal and leave. You know, they don't. Mm -hmm. We don't know each other. You guys are connecting with each other all week. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 doing things together, going to the movies together. You know, hanging out together. And I think that's wonderful. And 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 that's a part of 
who we are. Fulfillment comes from not only being around like-minded people and people who you can trust, but it also comes from building a skill with your music, with your instrument, and gaining fulfillment and reward from being able to perform these pieces and to entertain people right. um, and to enrich the community. <laughs> right, that's right, yeah. that's right, that's yeah. right. And it's people like you um, who are in the audience at every gig, at every performance, patrons of the arts who are so very, very important because otherwise we wouldn't survive without right, you. Right, right. You know? and, and, and I hope that I'm serving as a role model for younger people to say to them, you know, this is something that you could and should do. When everything shut down in March, oh what my. did people turn to? Art, film, music, books, yes. literature. That's yes. all a form of art. It's art that really speaks to the human experience. Right. And it just enhances you and makes you even a better person. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you, Hallie. And you, I'm so proud of you. You've just done wonderful things. And, and I know that with your coming back to Urban Strings as a conductor and as a co-producer of our CD that's coming out, you're just, you're just going to soar and, and continue to make us happy. And, and do great things not only for yourself but for our community. Thank you. I have a tough act to follow, so I'll do my best. <laughs> Good.